Are you the cutest little homemaker? There is only one of you, only one of me. There's a million of those who won't let us be. But they're not gonna, not gonna see me bleed. Cause baby, I got you, 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 you. I've been beaten to the ground. That wore the crap out of me. So I have this electric heater in my kitchen on the counter because we actually have to get a gas tank, like a propane tank and fill it up because we have central AC and the heat also runs through the vent, but it's through gas. So the only thing this house uses for gas is the heat. Hey y'all and welcome back to another video. So it was a work in progress moving out of that trailer y'all. So the very first day we had the majority of everything out thanks to the, all the help we had with our friends and family and the determination to get out of a sickly environment as soon as possible. Yesterday the nurse called me at Bella school saying that she was throwing up. She was vomiting in the hallway. So we had to go and pick her up from school. She also threw up again last night. I put a trash can beside her bed so that if she needed to throw up I told her to throw up in the trash can. So she did. Thankfully it made it in the trash can. In. but basically we are all detoxing from the mold that we had in our trailer so when your body is trying to detox from toxicities like black mold you vomit you have diarrhea you have upset stomach and you can have flu-like symptoms things like that and we are all experiencing these symptoms and I know for a fact 100% because it just makes sense that our bodies are detoxing from breathing in that black mold for almost two years and we've been here in this home for about a week now so our bodies have had time to breathe in the fresh air and we haven't been exposed to the mold anymore so our bodies are cleaning themselves out and we are working on getting back to ourselves and getting back to feeling healthy again and it's so sad that we even have to go through this anyways because of that condition of the trailer so if y'all follow me on instagram you already know so much more than you're going to know on youtube faster because i like to share updates over on instagram if you're not following me on instagram my handle is marie love asbury on facebook and on instagram so you can head over and follow me there if you want to so yesterday was thursday and we had our walkthrough the walkthrough is just the final walkthrough where the landlords come over and make sure nothing's damaged and everything looks okay. So after the walkthrough, the landlady told us everything looked great and she let us off. We don't have to continue to pay the two months rent. We just told her that we were moving out due to health hazards in the home, that the mold in the home was making us very sick. I'm so glad to be done with that place. But it breaks my heart in a million pieces to think of another family moving in there and that family getting sick, their babies are getting sick. But I just wanted to give you guys the final update. So in my dining room, I've I've just been throwing a bunch of boxes in there as I unpack them. There is still so much to do. I am absolutely dying to decorate for Halloween and get my fall decorations out and decorate my porch, but I can't until we get more settled. We're actually getting another couch. I'm getting rid of our brown sectional and we have another couch we're getting temporarily just until we're able to finance a couch that we absolutely love. But all that matters is that we're here, we're in this house and we're breathing fresh air, right? <laughs> but I don't wanna talk y'all's ear off. I'm about to see what else I can get done today. I'm gonna try to get rid of these boxes. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get them put outside. I'm so tired of them being stacked up in my dining room. They've been in there for since we've moved in and since I started unpacking stuff. Jackson's still asleep. I'm about to go get him up. Bella's outside yelling at the cat on the front porch. Nolan's on his tablet in the living room, but I'm gonna finish up my coffee and go get the baby up. Bubba's. Say good morning. Say my Oh no, your diaper's leaking. I know it. I'm so sorry. We gotta clean your booty. That comes at night. Yeah, it's a nightlight. Hey, Baba.
that wore the crap out of me. Giving the baby a bath after a blowout, changing all the sheets, the cat running in, no one's running through the house screaming because the cat's in here. I put my coffee in the microwave so I could drink the last four sips of it, but then I forgot about it, so now it's cold again. So I'm debating on just making one more fresh cup of coffee and having a second cup just to get through this day because I can already tell <laughs> this day is gonna be a long one. And I also just wanna say, here on this channel, I share the ups and the downs of motherhood. I don't hide specific things that go on in life because everybody faces life struggles especially mothers, motherhood is hard. And it's nice to know that you're not alone in motherhood, that you have other people going through the same things as you, that you have other people that are moms and they are going through struggles and situations with their kids. Mom life can be tough. So I just want y'all to know you're not alone. I go through a lot of struggles. My life is not perfect. I'm actually extremely overwhelmed right now and I'm still picking my camera up to do it anyways. So my tip for you today is if you don't feel like getting up, you don't feel like doing it, do it anyways. Get up and do it anyways. Push yourself to do it. Push yourself to be productive. Push yourself to be positive and let's have a good day. Look how he props his little feet up here on the high chair. Arabella used to do that. He just pushes his feet up here on the ledge. Do, do, do. <laughs> Are you the cutest little homemaker? So the kids just had a bowl of cereal this morning and an apple. So for lunch, I made them a fried egg, a string cheese, and a banana, and I'm just gonna have a three egg sandwich with some mayonnaise. So I recently got groceries yesterday, but I didn't have time to film a grocery haul or anything, so I'll just kinda share with you guys what I got for groceries this week. The last time I shared a grocery haul, it was really quick stuff, hold on. The last grocery haul I shared was easy stuff that can go in the air fryer and their microwave because we were moving, so we needed something that we just cook really quickly. And this refrigerator is also new, so I need to cut this off still. But I still have some things left over from when we moved, some quick freezer stuff. So this is the crispy chicken strips for lunch one day. I got some ground beef for spaghetti. I got some chicken for chicken alfredo, and I'm gonna pair that with some frozen broccoli. They substituted this, but it was supposed to be stew meat for a crock pot stew, but this is like smoky bourbon sirloin stew. Steaks. I guess I can still use this in the crock pot with some veggies. And then down here, I got some milk, chocolate milk. I got Eric some International Delight iced coffee. That's the caramel macchiato kind. That's the kind he likes. I did get some more juice, but it's in the pantry. We're gonna finish this one up. I got more Gatorades. We have lots of Gatorades over here, so I need to restock the Gatorades right here. What else is new? Um, this is gonna be our dinner tonight. I'm making chicken and rice, and we're gonna have salad with that. These are some green beans. Um, these are some farm fresh eggs. So down here is where I keep the kids' snacks. So we have some Kool-Aid jammers, and we have some apples and cheese, and some yogurts this week. I still need to take this plastic off the fridge, but I have some bottled waters in here. And then over here I have stuff for our crock pot stew. I got some carrots and celery. We also have onions and potatoes in the pantry. There's also more salad in here and just um, stuff for fajitas. So I have like bell peppers and stuff in there as well. Are you having fun down there? And I still need to organize the pantry. Everything's just kind of shoved in here. So we have a little bit of Fruit Loops left. So I went ahead and got the kids some more honeycomb. They've already ate some of this. And then I got some bread. I actually got two things of bread because we go through bread really fast and tortillas for like fajitas and stuff, some croutons for our salad. This is basically like my bread basket. And then for snacks, we still have a bunch of snacks, but what's new in here is the kids have some Welch's Halloween fruit gummies. And then over here on this side, I got the kids some more Dum Dum Suckers. I got some more granola. We like to top our yogurt with this, so I still need to put it inside this container. And then I restocked the kids breakfast, so I got some s'mores Pop-Tarts. I got some more of these apple and cinnamon fruit and grain bars. What else is new? Oh, I got these, these are the Chewy Bars, and I also picked up some of these Nature Valley Oats and Honey Crunch Bars, as well as these yogurt chewies. Adeline really likes these and always requests these. They're just granola bars with yogurt on the bottom. Obviously, I have more groceries in here, but these are just from my grocery haul that I got yesterday. I also got these. 
this is a big old thing of yams because my kids really love yams. I put some, a little bit of sugar, butter, and cinnamon in these and cook them on the stove and they're really good. And Jackson can also eat these. I'm, like I said, y'all, it is not organized because we just shoved stuff in here. But I got Jackson some like canned carrots and canned yams and just like some canned foods that will mash up really easily. You can also eat like mashed potatoes and stuff. So I got these specifically really for Jackson. The potatoes and the onions are in here and they're new. So that's basically what I got in our grocery haul. Oh, and so I got this three pack of mac and cheese. I also got a big box of chips for the kids. This is just for snacks and lunch boxes. And last but not least, some nanners. And I'm sure that was the most crazy unorganized grocery haul you've ever seen in your life, but I was really excited to show y'all what kind of groceries we got for our very first grocery haul in this house. So that's our very first time getting groceries ever in this house, and I'm just so excited about it. I really need to organize my pantry still. So, so I'm about to get started on cleaning up the kitchen, so I'm actually hand washing dishes. This is our dishwasher that we had in our house before the trailer. So we've been bringing it around with us, but it's not hooked up yet. So I've got to hand wash all of these I'm gonna be using my ice maker here Our refrigerator doesn't have an ice maker So we're gonna put like ice trays in there to make ice and we're also gonna be using this I need to clean it though. So I'm gonna fill it up with vinegar and Descale it it has a clean button. So I'm gonna get that clean today What are you doing? My house is a chaotic disaster <laughs> to this I don't know how to act don't know how to adapt to this situation now you does anyone else's baby try to play in the trash can myself give in to love believe in us no matter what it does to my heart now you to this no I'm not it was like if we were to waste these moments the light poets to me Well, I have all these taken down so far. I still have all these to go and all these to go. And I'm actually gonna be saving any of the packaging paper for like my decorations whenever I store those away. So I've been trying to focus on one room at a time and today I'm just focusing on the kitchen. I want to get some of my fall decorations put out today so I'm going to go ahead and get it all put together and cleaned up. And as far as our kitchen table, our dining room is just a tad bit too small so we ended up taking one of the chairs and storing it out in our building and we just used three chairs and the bench.
As far as my centerpiece on the table, I wanted to switch it up a little bit from the trailer and just make it feel fresh and new. So the first vase I tried to use was too big, so I ended up using my glass vase and I added some fall stems. These floors are so satisfying to mop. I absolutely love the tile floors. So I'm about to show you guys the cutest coffee bar ever. I'm so obsessed with the way my coffee bar turned out. It turned out so much cuter than I ever thought it would. But first I'm gonna decorate over here beside my stove. I'm gonna be switching out my black spoons for some wooden spoons. We're still gonna be keeping the black spoons in a drawer, but the wooden spoons just make the space look more aesthetic. And I love the way it turned out. I'm also adding a little cutting board to add a little bit of height and I'm adding our family of six sign with a little acorn and here in just a minute I'm going to be adding the salt and pepper shakers to it as well. That was just a few fingerprints on the wall from whenever they installed our cabinet so I'm going to go ahead and wipe down the wall and get this space all clean. caramel pecan candle from TJ Maxx this year. It smells so good. If y'all come across this candle, definitely snatch it up because it smells amazing. So I actually contemplated returning this K-cup holder and I'm glad I didn't because it is such a statement piece over here in my coffee bar and I turned it sideways so that I could fit my frother and my diffuser on it and it also freed up some counter space and makes it easier to wipe the counters down. I did have all the K-cups in the boxes, in the cabinets, and some of them were strode around in the silverware drawer and they were just everywhere. So this is such a better solution. And I found this little cutting board coffee mug holder or whatever you wanna use it for on Amazon. And I think it looks so perfect over here in the coffee bar area. And here in just a minute, I'm gonna be adding a very festive orange bead garland that screams fall. And for Christmas, I'm gonna be changing out this space for Christmas as well. I'm using my handy paint trick to hang everything up. I just take a Q-tip, dab it in some washable paint, and touch it to the back where the nails need to go, and I dab the piece of decor on the wall, and that's where I put the nails. And the very last thing I'll be getting done in today's video is descaling my ice maker. I'm so proud of myself for keeping this ice maker. I was scared to store it away for too long and risk it mildewing or molding in the inside of it if we stored it away for too long. So I had to get it off of our countertops at the trailer because it was just too big. Thankfully here we have so much more counter space. So I'm just using some white distilled vinegar and I filled it up and pushed the clean button and I ran it through twice and then I drained it and then flushed it out with water. 
I also clean my Keurig this way. I just pour some white vinegar in the reserver, run it through, and then I'll flush it through with water and it's all clean. done during nap time today. Jackson actually woke up a little bit ago. We just put him in the pack and play and we cut out on a movie for the kids. Bella and Nolan have just been playing. Eric and Adeline actually left to go to Verizon to see about our internet. We're having issues with internet where we live. We can't get good internet here. Like nothing services our area. So I've been having to hot spot my phone internet to my computer in order to upload videos. So I really hope that we have that situated soon because I work from home and this is the way that I make money. So I really hope that we can get this figured out. So I wanted to let y'all know, we don't have any blinds or curtains on our windows. Oh, hold on, hold that off. Okay, we don't have any blinds, any curtains on the windows yet. We just haven't had time to do that. So if y'all remember this curtain, I had it in my bathroom at the mobile home. If y'all remember my bathroom curtain in there, uh, whenever I did my bathroom makeover video. Anyways, I love love the curtain so much so i just went ahead and bought another one and that's a tip i can give you when you move if you already have curtains but you don't have enough for the room then instead of buying all new curtains for all the windows just use the curtains you already have and just buy like one or two additional ones that you need of the same exact curtain and that's what i'm trying to do to save money so i do already have one of these that i used in my bathroom at the mobile home and then i just bought another one and i'm going to hang these up over my sink in the kitchen and this is going to be a task for Eric he's going to be hanging up all the blinds and all the curtains when it comes time to do that but for the most part there's just so much to do but that's pretty much all that I'm going to do today I'm about to get started on some dinner make sure y'all stay tuned for my next video one of my next videos I plan to do the living room makeover next and I'm also going to be decorating for Halloween. The next video that I'm going to be filming, focusing on is the living room. We're going to be setting up our couch. I have a new rug. I have a new coffee table. So I can't wait to show y'all what our living room is going to end up looking like. But so far, this is what I've done in the kitchen. I can't wait to get our curtains hung up, but I'm about to cook some dinner. We're just going to have some chicken and rice tonight. And then I've got to do bath time and bedtime routines with the kids. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video. I hope y'all enjoyed hanging out with us today and I'll see y'all in my next one.